Hello lovelies, I'm Ray, and as all of you should know, I know I've mentioned it multiple times, but in case you didn't, didn't know, I am bisexual. Okay? I like girls and guys, though I am leaning more towards women, but that's beside the point. Point is though, is I like girls, okay? And I finally, after I don't know how long now, came out to my mother. My father already knew because I, I trusted him a bit more, so I told him beforehand, but my mother didn't. She is not really LGBT friendly. She's very conservative, like kind of stereotypical conservative kind of deal. She doesn't really approve of liberal stuff, of LGBT stuff. She's voting for Trump because he is Republican. That is her only reason. <sighs> She's... A character, and I love her to death, but she's a bit ununderstanding, not understanding. So, okay, so story is a month ago, actually. Now it's been almost a month, I believe. I, for some reason, like, every once in a while, I get these, I get these kind of urges where something will just bother me to no end, like for no reason whatsoever. It'll just bother me. Like it, it could be something I've been hiding for forever, or something that like. I've known for forever, but just suddenly it'll just nag at me for no reason. And this was one of them, and the fact that my mother did not know, and the fact that I couldn't be open about it was bothering me. And it uh, was like killing me on the inside because I was like, I wanted to talk about it because it was a girl I've been talking to, and I was not okay. It was not, it was not a fun time. So I got to the point where I talked to my friend Ariel, and I'm like, Ariel, like, this is killing me. I don't know what to do. And she's like, do whatever makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Do what you want to do. Like, if it makes you happy to come out to your mother, do it. If not, then don't. But don't stress yourself out of it. That's kind of paraphrasing. That's why I got out of it. That's basically what she told me. And so it was that. And I talked to one of my friends who happens to be transgender. And I was talking to her, asking her about how she came out to her family about that. And... You know, they were a bit weirded out, but they accepted her, and it w and she's doing great now. Like, she's doing really good. And, yeah, so I took inspiration from her and talking to Ariel, and I found the Coming Out song by Brianna and Chrissy, which I love a lot. I've been li I was listening to that on, like, repeat for, like, two days straight during that time. And I went downstairs one night. And I'm like, hey, mom, dad, I have something to show you. And I basically turned the song on and just sat there. And the three of us listened to it in silence. As soon as the song was over, I said, take from, take from that what you will, but I'm going to bed. And I slept like that. My mom said no words the entire time. She just looked at me. And... So I thought nothing of it, and my dad comes over and says, I was really, I'm proud of you for doing that, but you know she's not going to give you a response. And I'm like, I understand that completely. I know she's not going to say anything. I don't expect her to say anything. I'm not, I'm not doing this for a reaction. I'm doing this because if I didn't, it was going to kill me on the inside. And that's why he think he did not understand, but he accepted it. He did not understand that there was going to be no good time for that. I just picked it, I just did it whenever I could. And so I basically went by not expecting my mom to ever actually say anything. I didn't expect her the next day to come into my room and say about last night and start saying how she's proud of me for telling her this, that she's happy that I was able to trust her with something like this, but she doesn't approve, but she wasn't okay with it, but she doesn't accept it. She's happy I told her but she's not happy about what I told her. And to be honest, I kind of expected this. Like, I didn't do this expecting my mother to just outright be like, everything's cool. I ex what I expected was, was, I don't even know what I expected, to be honest. What I wanted her to say was, I don't like it, but I'll accept it. That this is you. I can't change that, 
I'm going, I, I'm going to accept it. I'm not going to be happy about it, but I'm going to accept it. My dad's done that. My dad's that's not happy about it either, but he's, he's, le- he's along for the ride. He'll see where this goes. He's hoping I end up with a guy, but I highly doubt it at this point. At this point, I feel like I'm going to marry a girl off spite for both of them, which I do a lot of things off spite, and that will be one of them, probably. Probably. But yeah, so, she wasn't happy, and she... And it was funny, because she told me that she doesn't understand what's happening to her family, and that she needs to pray for her family more. She thinks this happened because she doesn't pray for her family enough, because she doesn't pay attention to her family enough. She thinks that she's to blame for me being bi. And she was blaming herself, and she was thinking it's a phase. She was saying that she doesn't want the world, that we're living in a crazy world, and she doesn't want the world to win. And apparently, according to my dad, my dad had, she had told him that she doesn't want to hand me over to Satan. That was quote for, word for word quote. I am not joking. But I'm happy I did. But I know my mom's not happy about it. I feel like she's slowly trying to ruin my nobody knows I'm a lesbian t-shirt. Who knows? But that was how I came out. And I wanted to tell it because not everyone's going to accept you. But for those that who do accept you, keep them close. Because I told all my friends this story later, and they all were like, dude, your mom's a bitch. Like... I'm so proud of you for saying that, though. I'm so proud of you for coming out to her, though. Like, you're so... I'm so happy for you. But your mom, she's me- she's rude. She doesn't understand. Just give it time. Maybe she'll change her mind. And keep your friends close. Because you can choose your friends. You can choose the people who you're close to. Alright? Stay with those who support you and help you keep positivity in your life. Those who are negative, even if they're family, I don't suggest staying with them as long as you can. Alright, this video is getting a bit too long. I'm gonna close off. Thanks guys so much for watching. Hope that my story either inspired you or helped you reconsider. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in more of a don't be irrational about it. Don't do something if you feel like it could lead you to a dangerous situation. Right? Alright, love you guys. Bye-bye, lovelies. <laughs>